morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to GOA Fish Farm. I'm back again with another video, and this morning I'll be showing you what is mortality. That is what is mortality. If you experience mortality, what can you do with those dead fishes? So this morning I've observed in court before I come for feeding, I observed that there are mortality in my fish. I in my pond I've experienced two about two to three mortality. So now for you to uh, 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 follow this channel. If you are new to this channel, please make sure you click on that subscribe button, comment, like, and leave any question for us at the comment section. Now, back to business. Mortality. Mortality simply means dying of fish. That is when you rear fish. Is it normal? Yes, it is normal for your fish to die. However, it must not be consistent. If you are going to have mortality, it might be maybe once in two weeks, two uh, two dead fish in three weeks, or one in uh, two months. In total, you must not be having more than 20 or 30. If you are having more than that in the whole from your production to harvest, then there is a problem somewhere. You need to either cheat your pond or look for the solution. Now, there is what we call cannibalism. Cannibalism is what used to cause mortality. That's why I advise, I advise you people to make sure you feed your fish very well. For those who fail to feed their fish, the small fish, you see them gathering together to fight the big fish so as to feed on them, which is cannibalism. And if it is the big fish that are more dominant in your pond, you see them coming together, fighting the small fish to feed on them. If you fail to feed your fish adequately, once they are hungry, they begin to fight themselves. Or if you are using the method of a uh, one spot feeding and in course of feeding your fish they are pain which is in the beside their head chooks one of each or one of the fishes at the body and is having a spot or bleeding you will see that those other fish when they are hungry they will look for that uh, uh, injured fish and feed on it due to the blood that is on the body so these are what used to cause mortality in the pond. But if you are first talking your fish, some people, if you are buying fish, bad uh, fingerlings or juvenile, you might be experiencing rapid or high rate of mortality. If you stress your fish, you might be experiencing mortality. But now, what can you? How can you turn your waste to wealth? That is, if your fish is dead, how can you make it to be of high profit instead of it being a waste? Now, this morning you see now that my fish, I have two fish dead. Now I'm going to be using them to feed my fish. So what I will do is I will go into my pond now, bring the fish out, remove the head. Since the fish, even if they are going to eat it, they cannot eat the head. If you notice, if you experience cannibalism in your pond, you will see that they will consume all other parts of the body. But the head, the skull, will be dumped. They will not eat that one. So now this morning, for it to for easy consumption, what I will just do is take my, I have my hand net with me. You can see my hand net, which I will use. I have my boots with me. So I will enter the pond take the fish, bring them out, and use them to feed. So, just follow me and see the process. Right now that I have my boots, You can see them. I see them. These are the two dead fishes that I have here. I see the two. So I pick them. You see? Then. So you 
try to look. can see these are the two fishes that are dead as at this morning so what i will do is i'll use them to feed my fish just follow me As I'm you will see as I'm trying to sort off the head because I know they cannot feed on the head. You can see they can't eat this like the skull. So you throw that away. That one is the only waste. So now, you will now cut for easy consumption, you cut this into smaller particles. So it will be easy for each fish to carry something. Now, see if you put the old, they will not eat. They will, but they will be fighting more on it because you know they don't swallow; they take bites. So if you don't cut it into small particles, they will not easily consume the feed. But once cut. Okay, so you can see now. So let me use it to feed the fish. You will see the rate at which they will jump at it. Either. So that is how they feed on it. So, this is the process of using dead fish to feed your fish. But now, let's say you drop your fish or you, you cannot enter your pond, you left it there. You will experience cannibalism. You see the fishes that are inside the pond feeding on the dead one. You just see my one of my tapulin, how the process happened. Just experience cannibalism. So, as you can see, I pick the fish and I'm trying to, so it doesn't turn to waste. I'm trying to slice it to use it to feed them since that's what they were doing before. So you can see 
I'm cutting it into small sizes so that it doesn't waste. They've killed them. You can see this one, they've eaten the. Although, if you do not slice it, they will still end up eating the fish anyway because they will still conserve them so that you won't have the issue of dead fish swimming on your pond. That's why you see me bringing them out with my hand net and then trying to feed them with what they killed. Alright, thank you for enjoying the video. If, well, if you know that you like those video, make sure you like, share, comment, and leave any question for us at the comment section. On to the next video, GOA always gets you covered.